Hey Defenders, welcome back. In the previous video, we installed Yara on a Linux and on a Windows box. And now I want to integrate Yara with Wazoo and give us the ability to automatically scan files that have been added to our server. And we're going to use Wazoo's active response feature to do that for us. So stick around and we'll jump into it. All right, so currently we have Yara residing on our Wazoo agent, right? So in the last video we installed Yara, and to scan a file we have to manually run the Yara command like what I just outputted here, um, which is great, but doesn't really give us the proactive defense and scaling ability that we need to actually deploy this within a you know enterprise environment. And so what we can do is automate this process using Wazoo and Wazoo's active response. So a few videos back, I put together how we can call VirusTotal uh, and integrate virus, VirusTotal automatically on new file uploads, and which is great, but we are also dependent on you know internet connectivity, uh, our VirusTotal API threshold not being exceeded. Uh, uh, you can pay for more for the ability to make more API requests, but if you exceed that threshold, uh, VirusTotal won't actually process your request. So we, so malware could still hit our box. We ask VirusTotal, "Hey, is this malicious?" Uh, VirusTotal just denies our request because we've exceeded our threshold, and then we miss the alert completely, right? So now we can take some. Now we can take this uh, a little more into our own hands, and implement Yara, which is a malware kind of Swiss Army knife that scans that scans files for us for malicious signatures. And with this running locally on our servers, we don't have to worry about internet connectivity or any API thresholds being exceeded. Uh, we can then have Wazoo run our Yara.sh script, which will run Yara and compare its rules against a our file that was uploaded to the server. So let's go ahead and get into that. So we have our Wazoo agent, right? So the Wazoo agent is gonna tell the manager, hey, a new file has been uploaded, right? So, and then we're going to allow to instruct the Wazoo manager to when it sees this particular alert, we want the Wazoo manager to trigger an active response and say, okay, run the yara.sh script and tell the agent to run its script locally. The agent will then run its Yara script and compare the new file that was added against the Yara rules uh, that we'll configure here in a sec as well. And will then tell us, uh, and then we'll then log that output and send it to the Wazoo manager where the Wazoo manager will have rules on it and say, okay, is the, uh, were any, Yara signatures detected. If so, generate alert. If not, um, then we won't generate an alert. So that's kind of the flow of, uh, of this whole process. And now let's get into the fun stuff and actually configuring it. Uh, in my Git repo, I have a Wazoo repo. And then under here, I have a Yara integration file uh, with commands and the syntax that you guys need to follow along. So I'll link that in the, in the description as well so you can follow along. Uh, and let's go ahead and jump into that. So we first need to make some changes on the Wazoo Manager. Uh, so we need to make some changes to the osec.conf on the Wazoo Manager. I'll just make these changes within the web UI. Uh, again, you can do it locally on the Manager as well through a remote session, but the web UI is, is pretty friendly. And we'll go ahead and add a new line and we'll paste uh, that in. So now let's, let's walk through what, uh, what we're doing here. So we're telling the Wazoo agent, hey, let's set this command to be able to run. And this specific command 
uh, we're just going to give it the name Yara, and we're going to have it execute the Yara.sh script, which will be on the agent, right? So we haven't created this file yet, um, so we will do that here in a sec. Then we're telling it to expect a file name, and then we're going to also pass the argument. Uh, well, so this, this, this file name will be the name of the file that was added or modified on the server, so we're expecting a file name. And then we're going to pass extra arguments that specify the Yara path, so the path to the Yara binary, and then also to the Yara rules uh, that we want to specify as well, right? Uh, a little trick too, if you guys followed my last video, uh, we installed Yara, and we also grabbed rules from a GitHub, um, that has a lot of really good default rules, right? And we clone that into this rules directory here. So if I go into here and ls this out, uh, you see we have a bunch of different .yar files that call the various Yara rule signature files, right? So if I open this guy, you see it's including this crypto under signatures.yar, right? So any .yar files under the crypto directory, it'll run. But we want Yara to run against all of these rules, right? Not just a crypto uh, analysis or a exploit kit analysis. And to do that, we can run this index.gen.sh script. So if I just run this real quick, this will generate a universal index.yar file for us that includes all of our Yara rules for us, right? So this is a nice file that we can point to uh, with YAR to say, hey, include all of these rule files. And you can see it's excluding CVE rules, uh, email signature rules, exploit kit rules. So all of these different rules can be combined into one. And we can then just point to this specific .yar file instead of you know calling each one of these individually, uh, which is really nice. So. We will first, uh, in our extra args here, we will point to our Yara binary file, right? So we actually don't include, so if I CD back into this guy, we don't include the Yara binaries because this is done automatically by the script. Uh, and we'll see that here in a sec. So I will just copy and paste the directory in, right? So Normally, you, I will copy and paste the directory where the Yara binaries, so this guy here, resides. Uh, and so you'll also want this to be universal across all your machines, right? So you don't have to do make multiple configurations uh, for this. You just want it. You you want the Yara binaries to be stored uh, locally, maybe under like user bin or something like that. You could do as well. Uh, in this demo, I just have them under the opt directory, but a mass deployment uh, you know, environment-wide, you would want to make it universal. And we're gonna uh, point to our YAR rules file. So, go into rules, and I'm gonna just point to this index.yar. So I will copy, if I can figure that out, <laughs> copy that directory, and then slash, now we need to say what YAR file, and in our case, it's index.yar. Okay, so that looks good. And then we need to tell Wazoo when to run, when to tell the agent that triggered a uh, alert to run the Yara.sh. Well, we want this to run on files that are modified or files that are added to the system, right? So if I duplicate this guy out here and go to the rules, we can search on rules IDs 550 and 554 and when these trigger, then our Yara script will be called, right? When this specific, when these two rules trigger, we will call the Yara command, which what we detail here, and this command will run the executable and, or the bash script and call these extra parameters, right? So if we go back into our rules here and search for 550, we see that rule ID is integrity checksum change. So this is when a file has been modified, right? And then if we also search for 554, 
this will be a file was added to the system alert. So we only want Yara to run if, the, if a file was added to the system or if a file was modified, right? And then uh, we will have that run local. The location is local. Um, and so local meaning that it will run on the agent that generated the event, right? So that's what we want there, right? And and so we paste that there and then we can save that off. Uh, I don't need to worry about restarting it because we still need to add some decoders uh, and rules. So we will go into our decoders file, custom decoders, uh, manage decoders files, and we will select to edit our local decoder.xml. Then we now need to copy our Yara decoders here. So this is just telling the Wazoo manager how to break up a Yara log that you receive from the agent, right? So we'll copy those decoders, paste these guys here, save that off. And then we also need to do the same for, we need to create Yara rules as well now that we've created the decoders. So same steps, go into custom files, we're going to manage rule files, and we'll just select local files.xml. And I'll scroll down to the bottom here, enter a new line, and let me copy our config that we have here. So I'll copy and then paste that here. Uh, one thing to note, make sure you don't have duplicate uh, rule IDs, right? Or what the Wazoo Manager will fail to restart. So this looks good. So we're grouping the Yara rules. Uh, we have this rule ID trigger if Yara uh, detects an error, right? So if there's any error for some reason. And then when Yara matches on a rule, we'll output that here and we'll take the Yara underscore rule variable to, to see which rule it matched on, right? And that'll be more clear in a sec. So we'll save that and restart. And we are done with the manager portion. Now we need to add onto the Wazoo agent. So now we need to create this yara.sh script on our Wazoo agent, right? So to do so, we need to navigate into the var uh, osec active response uh, bin directory, which is where by default Wazoo includes the bash scripts that we use for their default active responsibilities that, you give, that they give you. But we want to add this new script uh, to be able to be ran. So I will copy and create this file. And now let's copy the contents into this file. So I'll copy and paste that here. And I mentioned that we just, we don't have to put the full path to the Yara binaries. We just include the directory that the Yara binaries is sitting in. Because if you see here, our main workflow block, the Yara output, it just takes our path and then we're adding the Yara binaries automatically in it. So the script is adding that for us. Uh, if you wanted to, you could just erase the slash Yara here and just make it the full path if you want. Um, I just haven't done that, so I'm just, you know, but if you're confused as to why we don't have to specify the exact binary itself, uh, just the directory it sits in, and that's because it's automatically added here with this script or sorry, with that, um, it's already, it's automatically added here because we're just specifying we're gonna take the Yara underscore path variable and just add uh, Yara to it. So that's good, All right? And let's save that off. And now I need to change some permissions in ownership. So I am going to change the ownership to root OSEC so that the so that the OSEC user can run the yara.sh script and then I'm going to modify the script as well so that it can actually be ran. Uh, so if we ls uh, so if we just list out the ownership and modifications of the files here we see that sure enough our yara.sh has a root OSEC and has the ability to be ran. All right, and now let's restart our agent here. And let me open up another session. Yep, which I have here. All right, and now let's 
see if we can replicate this. Uh, let me go ahead and clear this out. Uh, let, me, let me start tailing the active response.log so that we see when this is uh, ran, so we can make sure it's running correctly. And I'll move this up for you guys. All right, so we're starting to tail that now. All right, and let's go to our malware uh, sample friend here, and uh, let's just grab a coin miner one because we know that this one will uh, should give us some good results. So we'll do a wget, and let's grab this. So the Wazoo agent will see a file being added to the the server, right? It'll tell the manager, "Hey, this file was added." The manager will see will see that rule five five four has triggered, and say, "Okay, now let's run." the and say now okay let's run the yara.sh script uh, tell the agent to do so so and it'll run and then respond back to us so if we run this run a w git all right we've grabbed the file and now bam we see that already so before we even extracted the file yara has detected a malicious signature within here right so we go back into our dashboard. Uh, let's go to our specific agent here. And I will go into our security events module. Uh, go to our events tab. And let me just la load the last uh, 15 minutes here and filter out some of the noise. Uh, let me just filter out these groups so we only see uh, the rules that we want. And we see, bam, big numbers three has detected. Uh, Yara has detected a this rule has fired uh, against this file, right? And it's just our .zip file. So now if we extract this, we should see this really pop off again. Uh, give the password as infected. All right, so now a new file has been added to the system, and bam, look at all this. Wazoo has told Yara to run. Yara has now ran against all of, uh, and detected all of these rules have popped off against this particular file. And now if we refresh this, we'll see, bam, we'll see all of these have been detected, right? And we can uh, list out the specific file path in rule, uh, so I can, List this out in the column, and here, the uh, the, the specific rule and file path that it's been triggered against, right? So this is awesome. Um, we have now automated Yara to run anytime a file is added to a server, or if a file that's already resided on a server has been modified in any way, right? And now our our security team is alerted that, hey, this Yara has triggered a bunch of signatures against this particular file, and now we can take appropriate action. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me in this video, and I will see you in the next one.